Hey friends, welcome back to the Lifetime Athlete Podcast. I'm your host, John Zombro. This is episode number 104, and the title is Physical Therapy Basics Healing. As you know, the Lifetime Athlete is the home of the Hard to Kill Workshop, where you become faster, stronger, more mobile, and more durable, and you die late, healthy, and quickly. Healing is a part of the human experience. We've all been there, and will continue to have this process ongoing within our magnificent, beastly human bodies. I want to offer up some useful information that we use in the physical therapy mindset with respect to healing. First thing, our bodies heal from any process that inflicts damage, or they certainly try to do so. So what are some of the things that inflict damage? Well, obviously, injury of various types. This could be an acute injury, like a sprained ankle, or an overuse problem, like a tendinopathy. Surgery which is an injury in and of itself. Sure, we may occasionally have the need to have something that isn't working removed from our bodies, something put back together, or something replaced. But all that cutting and drilling and hammering and screwing and stitching is a massive wound inflicted upon our tissues. Many times folks end up failing to recognize this in the post-operative arena. Stress, including pathogen-related illnesses, Inclement weather, strained relationships, poor sleep, and other unpleasant circumstances. And of course, training and competition. Now, these are good stresses and ones that we can control for the most part, but they still cause microtrauma in our bodies. Having none of that limits our adaptation and potential, but having too much creates chronic inflammation and more damage to repair. So we've got to find that sweet spot with respect to training and competition. So those are some of the things that uh, will inflict damage on our tissues and from which our body automatically attempts to uh, initiate the healing process. Now let's look at some of the processes by which our bodies do this healing. And the first up is regeneration. Regeneration is exactly what it sounds like. In certain areas, our bodies can regrow new tissue. This is particularly true regarding bone, blood vessels, skin, the liver, and the peripheral nervous system. These tissues are designed to respond to injury by producing new cells and regenerating the injured area. You've probably noticed this with a skinned knee or a broken bone. Eventually, in most cases, the body can be as good as new. The next thing I'd like to discuss uh, briefly is repair. It's really important that as human body owners, that we know what the manual says regarding healing in skeletal muscle, uh, the rest of the body's organs, not including the liver, and its connective tissues like ligaments, joint capsules, tendons, and intervertebral discs, uh, a.k.a. the spine or the back. These tissues don't regenerate, and they heal by the process of repair. Repair is the method by which we patch up and rebuild injured areas. Uh, by patching up, we are referring to the magic known as scar tissue. This is the collagenous tissue that our bodies produce to reinforce a damaged area. It's pretty good stuff, a form of biologic duct tape, if you will, but it's not quite as good as original tissue in terms of strength and elasticity, although it's close. Repair is where our bodies are indeed brilliant. As that scarred area becomes desensitized, uh, we move and use and load the area more and more. Now, what this does is it minimizes the amount of scar tissue present in the final repaired product and makes it as functional as possible if you get the right amount of movement and progressive loading. This is one of the major focuses that we have in physical therapy. Uh, lay up for too long and you'll end up with a big, stiff, weak scar. The body needs that Goldilocks stimulus. Our instincts are pretty good here, but a PT can be a nice addition to your team. The other part of the repair process is the rebuilding that goes on. And while you can't say grow new muscle or tendon fibers, uh, the ones you have will build back up and become thicker and stronger and more useful and resilient 
in this journey that we call L-I-F-E. Finally, and hopefully, we have restoration. So there's a lot of R words today. Uh, What I mean by this is, this term is that restoration of ideal movement patterns. These are the movement patterns that optimize the economy, the efficiency, and the effectiveness of human function. They enable us to get the most out of our bodies with the least amount of wear and tear and the lowest potential for pain or re-injury. Thus, whether or not the injury was caused by faulty movement in the first place, making movement optimal in the end of the healing process puts the necessary finishing touch on the project. It's like tuning up a car after you rebuild the carburetor. And working with a physical therapist to idealize your movement can even help you toward higher performance capacity than your pre-injury levels. That's a pretty good deal. In closing, there are a couple of points to appreciate about healing in our bodies. Healing is a necessary and natural part of our existence, and we're genetically wired to do it extremely well. Some tissues, like bone, can regenerate during healing, and as long as we manage the process correctly and don't impede it, the bod can renew itself. Other tissues, like muscles, utilize the repair mechanism. This involves scarring and tissue rebuilding. And a lot of times that target tissue will come back at 99.5%, you know, as opposed to 100% when we have regeneration. But that's really our goal is to get as close to 100% as we can. And that's why we do all those things in, in the repair mechanism. And ultimately, every injury requires that we restore or create, if it didn't already exist, optimal movement patterns. Uh, Note that I didn't say perfect, as everyone is unique and there's room for individualization, but there still needs to be optimization. And for the finale, now that you understand how your body heals, consider working with your friendly neighborhood physical therapist or schedule some work with me online to improve your movement capacity even if you don't have an injury. It's, it's, it's worth it. It's, it's that good. So thanks for listening, guys. If you're digging the vibe, please rate, review, share, and subscribe. And if you want more information about how to maximize not just your body's health and healing capacity, but the ability to realize your full potential in the weight room, the boardroom, and the bedroom, consider coming to the Hard to Kill Workshop on February 29th in Bozeman, Montana. You can learn more, plus check out hundreds of great articles, videos, and podcast episodes, all helping you to achieve peak performance at any age at thelifetimeathlete.com. I really appreciate your being with me today. Keep being awesome and have a fantastic day.